I'm very happy to talk with you, and I just want to tell you what I hope you know and feel. Our nation, our, our planet is so thankful to you for your years of dedicated service, certainly to our country, and to your dedication to such excellence. And welcome home, welcome home. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for those kind words, and it definitely felt like a privilege to get the opportunity to be up in space for that long. So thanks to the country um, for making that a possibility. Tell me, you know, I, I am the proud head of our nation space council. And so I am uh, particularly excited to speak with you. And, and, and so soon after your return, after 355 days in space, and I was wondering if you can just talk with me a little bit about what this trip meant in terms of not only what it meant for you personally in terms of the experience, but you were there in search of discovery, in search of science, in search of innovation. And, and I'm hoping you might be able to, to talk a little bit about how that's going to benefit folks on Earth. Oh, absolutely. I can tell you that there was a, a one experiment called Celestial Immunity that uh, dealt with cells donated by young people as well as older folks that uh, we were able to inoculate and see how the immune systems react. We're hoping that, that the National Laboratory of the Space Station helps us better understand immune systems because of that. We've got potential to learn about, uh, better understand combustion because, because it behaves differently in space and that potentially will help us have systems on the ground that, that work providing or using energy but with less pollution. Certainly being in space, I hope, uh, inspires a lot of young people to want to go ahead and continue their studies because that's so essential to being able to participate in our nation's space program in so many ways. Can you talk a bit about the Artemis and Moon mission and how, how folks should think about what it is but also the potential it has created? Absolutely. I, I really am looking forward to a time when we've got continuous human presence on another planetary object. We've been on the moon, but we've never stayed. We've been in low Earth orbit for more than 20 years. So we know how to stay in space. We do not yet know how to use the resources of another planetary object like the moon. And doing that, going back to the moon, it's gonna be a huge leap forward for humanity. And in the process, it'll give us a tremendous amount of knowledge about how to survive on Mars. And the average length of time we think it could take to get from Earth to Mars could be as much as six months. And so your record-breaking 355 days in space really puts us on the path of understanding what travel to Mars would require of a human being, huh? Absolutely, and I think the flight to Mars and back, I suspect, will be even longer than that. So my hope is that the record that the team achieved with, with my flight is something that gets broken pretty quickly as we get better and be better understanding of how to keep a human being healthy and able to function when they get someplace else. Uh, and honestly, some of my flight, as soon as I landed in Kazakhstan, within the first hour of being there, I was doing some tests to see what type of capabilities I had um, before getting any medical attention, before taking any medicine. So we're trying to understand what we can expect of people because when they get to Mars, they're not going to have a medical staff waiting for them. Well, I've read about your career and you have been quite dedicated to our country and, and to all of this work. And thank you for that. And, and please enjoy a, a peaceful, a restful um, return to Earth. And, um, and please thank your family for me, for our country, on behalf of the president. Um, on behalf of all of us for, for the work and the sacrifices they have also made. Um, but we're, we couldn't be more proud. And so welcome home and thank you again. Thank you very, very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, what a great guy.